Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some Simic Flash. And we've got an interesting hand. Do we keep this? Ooh. I'll keep it. Uh, we'll, we're gonna be taking our time. Ooh, hopefully this isn't the Simic Flash one again, or the Demir Flash. This is Demir Flash, we might be in for some trouble. They're gonna get ahead of us pretty quickly here. Uh, alright. Let our Simic Gilgate. We're not doing anything for a few turns. This might have been a weird keep. Uh, let's try it though. I haven't kept too many of these hands, so we'll see what happens. Uh, unsummon's not bad. Intertapped. See if we see a Brineborn here. We do. That's fine. We can always unsummon that. And we probably will just to keep them at bay a little bit longer. Uh, do I take two now though? I'll take two now. And if they try to beef them up even more. Uh, we will get rid of them. I uh, should not have played that. I should have played the Breeding Pool tapped. My bad. Crack in the Fabled. Sure. There's the Sea Octopus. We're going to make them resolve all that. And then we're going to send it back to their hand. Goodbye. Give a little opt. Don't want any more lands. I think we're all set. Um, do another op, sure. Let's keep drawing the cards. Uh, I don't want another opt. <laughs> I'd like to have something else. That's not a bad on summon, though. Alright, we'll play out that. And... Yeah, we'll pass to them with uh, Frilled Mystic, Night Pack Ambusher. I hope they just go for the Sea Dasher. That'd be pretty nice just to counter that. Oh, they're just going to take their turn. Oh, oh, they don't even want to play it. Oh, man. I was set up. We just got set up. We had just got set up. All right. Fair enough. They knew. They knew I was locking them out with some counter spells or something. Let's rock it back. Not letting a Sea Dasher come at me. Sorry. That's why I want more in my deck. I've only got the two. Once we get more, it'll be nice. Uh, this is uh, a... Pretty nice hand. We just need another blue source to cast Cunning Nightbonder, uh, but I'll keep it. It's fine. Witches Oven. Cool. I hate the Witches Oven deck. It's so annoying. You can get pretty aggro too. Oh, and they're playing with this guy. They're playing with the companion. Uh, supposedly this is going to be going in a Merfolk deck uh, that just went like 5-0 or some crap. Uh, pretty insane. Don't like you. I've seen what you can do. I think I'm just gonna... Slowing them down matter that much? I'll just go Spectral Sailor. Um, I'm actually going to put this down, and we're just going to unsummon this guy now. I think, uh, I don't know what they're about to do with him, but I feel like they're going to do some combo with the cats. Putting him down, so if we can slow him up for a little bit, that'd be nice. Even Legion. There's a cat. Get in there. Hold up a counter spell or our night bonder, which will make everything a little bit cheaper.
tempted just to chump block this Eben Legion before it can pump. Alright. We'll bring in the Night Bonder. See what happens. They might have a kill spell for it. Just gonna sack him. Sure. It's fine. Play out your fiend. Now, Brineborn only costs one, which is nice. There goes that. Oh, never mind. All right. Well, we got our Frilled Mystics up. So there's one thing. Might try to play their Dream Den. Just a cauldron. We'll let that resolve, even though I'm not happy about it. I want to hit something better. Take action. Counter it. Couple Brineborns isn't bad. I'll swing in on this crap. They can jump block, sack, do whatever. This is where a sea dasher on the Spectro Slayer would be really nice. they can hold off doing anything crazy for a turn, I'd love to put down both, both these Brineborns. That'll really get the clock going. Sure. One card in hand. I'll sack their stuff now, sure. Just these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this nonsense. Priest of the Forgotten, huh? Nah. I'm not about it. Fiend Artisan, alright. You got your Fiend Artisan. There you go. It's a 4 4. Well, we can bounce it. Do I want to bounce it now? 
Yeah, I guess I do. Alright, and turn. They can play their companion now pretty freely. Or just put down the artisan again. He's like one of the most expensive cards, I think, in the set at the moment. One of them. Uh, minus the Godzilla Death Corona. One permanent with a pair of mana costs two or less. So here comes another familiar, sure. My turn. I'm threatening some uh, pretty decent damage here, so they got to be careful. Take the rest. Alrighty. Got him to seven. Pass the turn with a Sinister Sabotage and a Brazen Borrower. Still one unknown card. Hmm. Do I want to counter you? Kind of. He's just doing it from his hand, though. So he can at least get one of these out. Um, that one will resolve. It's a 5-5. Five, five. That's pretty gnarly. Stone Coil for zero? I don't think they meant to do it like that. Stone Coil for zero. How's this working? Okay. <laughs> uh, he just wants an extra thing on him? Alright, that's fair. It's like, why are you casting him for zero? Just pumping the artisan. Gets a plus one, plus one for each creature in your graveyard, so. We'll counter that. He knows this guy can get pretty big, too. Another counter? What do I actually want? I don't know if I want another counter. I'm gonna say no. Hopefully we don't draw a land. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Um, hmm. Swing in here. I don't really mind if these die. If I swing them with everything, then they're forced to block some more. So they block, they block this, they block this, they take eight, they eat one of my things, and they take eight though, eat one Brineborn. Put them to two, we're almost dead. All right, I'm just going to rock it like this. I don't know what our best bet is here. that all right this is rough I don't know what the best lines are here for this I'm just trying to go wide and apply as much damage as possible but it's tough Resolve. Not too happy about it. Throw down the ambusher. Everybody gets bigger. Pump him once. C dasher is pretty nice. Um, all right, so let's say I attack in with everything here. Swing, block, 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 hit for six. Not quite enough. I can bring him out, hit for a couple more. think I'm going to just go like this. Sacrifice a creature, create a food token. So they can create two food tokens. Sacrifice a food. Remove. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. We get ping pinged. We're so close to dead here, it's crazy. Uh, this might be a mistake. I, I don't really know. These cauldrons are going to start popping. Uh, we could just be dead from them, like, 100%. Maybe if we just swung in completely, we would have been fine. Swing completely. Block, block, block. Yeah, we're, we're not hitting for lethal, though, is the problem.
Even they're trying to figure out the math a little bit. <laughs> it's a tight game. I'm not exactly sure. I can sack one of these guys, bring something back. Gain one life, hit me for one. Grab ourselves a wolf token. They can ping, ping, ping. I think we're just dead from these cauldrons, unfortunately. Do I want to buff you at all? I'm going to say no right now. Maybe I should have been trying to get Brazen Borrower out sooner. They can cast another Artisan. I might just go Brazen Borrower, mutate on the Brazen Borrower. Ugh. That's ugly. This guy reach too. Doesn't help me any. I think I'll just pump him twice. Alright, so let's see. You block my brazen. But you can't really do that because there's more powerful things coming at your face. You block, you block, you block, you take nine. Hmm. I think I'm going to lose the opportunity to find the thing and I'm going to opt for some answers here. Don't want that. Don't want that either. I just want to swing out. This has lifelink, though. It's unfortunate. Block, block. Gain three. I don't know what's correct here. This is madness. I'm trying to go wide. I'm trying real hard. We lose some life to that. I kind of have to, I want to get a card draw here, but I kind of have to wait 
if I want to uh, get an extra token, which I do. We're just dead to these cats, though. It's terrible. That's just it, right? They can recast it right now, right? Okay. It's a good game. I don't know. I, I that's it's a weird one. That's a weird one. They're gaining so much life, ticking us down, making so many crazy blockers. Um Yeah, I'm not sure. That's a tough one though. That's a really tough one. Uh, let's play one more. That's different, the different cauldron deck than what I'm used to. Uh, that's the first time I've seen it with the companion and everything. Um, turn two bounce, turn three counter, brazen borrower. Try to get our fourth land for a night pack. I'll keep. That's good. Turn one play if they try something. Passing. So are we. We're just going to keep playing the same decks today, huh? This is crazy. Could try to trade. I'm gonna let it through though. We'll get our own going. So many night packs. Need to get uh need to get the mana for that. We're going to say no to you. I'll keep you on top. Getting hit for five, though. It hurts. Hmm. Nothing, huh? See if we can do a good combat trick here with an unsummon and a flash and wildborn preserver. Quenching that. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. But now my Brineborn's getting big. Hmm, man, we got our own Night Bonder. You gonna chump block this? 
No? Alrighty. What are you, what are you? Whenever you cast another spell that as fast as you draw a card and each opponent loses one life. Three two elemental nightmare. I have not seen you. How interesting. Okay, still I'm not finding my land that I need. Block there, block there, I'll take those trades. That's pretty nice. How did I miss this guy? Now I see why people are going into Demir. You got three different options. We're just playing the unsummon game. Got another one of these. Okay. What an interesting game we have. Cannot, for the life of me, find this other thing. We can play both the Brazen and the Wildborn this turn because of Cunning Nightbonder, which is freaking awesome. Love it. Looks like they're just going to pass. Really need to find a land here, though, and then I'll feel pretty darn safe. I don't like that, though. I don't like that at all. That's just not, that's just not nice. Guess it's fair, I do got a 9-8 out here. Pretty gnarly. Okay. Not the land I'm looking for. They are tapped out for the turn, so I'm going to swing in here. Okay. Well, we can make Wildborn pretty big. Make him a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I, I know you got wildborns. It's okay. Oh, I could have made one more. Oops. <laughs> oh well, they didn't. They didn't want to see it. Uh, that was a pretty equal game, though. I mean, they were in chump blocking mode for sure, and we were one thing away from getting our uh, all our nice uh, three mana uh, night stalkers. All our night stalkers were. Oh, they were all three mana. We could have done. Oh no, we still didn't have the two green. <laughs> 
for a second I thought we were, we were able to cast it and I just wasn't paying attention or something, but no, they just gave up. Alright, good game. Um, Demir Flash, Simic Flash. Which one's better? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, they're, they're both uh, got their, their nice uh, drawbacks and draw, um, pros and cons, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I like both lists, but I tend to like Simic more just because of the Night Pack Ambusher. He still does a ton of work, a ton of work in the deck. So let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Simic Flash. And we will see you guys in the next video.